everybody, Mike with Spray Jones, and we're covering off a really interesting topic, one that most everybody thinks that they should know something about, but they're not quite sure on what the actual details are, and that is structural strength. Does the foam add anything, and if it does, how much? Well, we're going to have to take a look at a interesting report that was done in 2007 to get some hard facts for you people that like that kind of stuff. But before we get into the nitty gritty details, let's just go over some simple uh, anecdotal evidence. Foam insulation is used in the majority of insulated garage door panels. And in the garage door panel system, it is the structural element. It's holding everything together. And you don't even think twice about it. There's very little rigid struts inside. So foam is around you. It's in your deep freeze. It's in your fridge. It's in your garage door panels. A whole industry called structurally insulated panels, or SIPs for short, uses some type of foam insulation sandwiched between rigid insulation in order to form a structural element. So it's natural that a sprayed polyurethane foam like the wall type product will in fact add structural support to a wood frame, uh, wood frame construction. Let's take a look at the test report that shows the data that we can interpret and see just how strong the foam is. Here are the wall assemblies that were constructed. First was a 2x4 wall, 16 on center spacing with double top plate. Then a 2x6 wall, 24 on center spacing with a double top plate. And last, a 2x4 wall with a single top plate, 24 on center spacing and 3 inches of foam. The first two walls received batting. Let's see the results now. And it should be noted that when you're doing racking strength results, you keep going until it either levels out and stops deflecting, or you have broken the wall assembly. So in the first report, the 2x6 batted wall with the double plate deflected all the way out to 2,500 pounds of load and 13.98 millimeters of deflection. The 2x4 wall, the batted one, broke at just over 1,500 pounds of load and 2.94 millimeters of deflection, so it failed. Finally, the 2x6, or 2x4 wall I should say, with the 3 inches of wall tight spray foam in them, deflected all the way at 2,400 pounds of live load and 2.94 millimeters of deflection. So the 2x4 wall with 3 inches of foam outperformed anything in 2x6. And that's pretty typical of what we've seen, whether it's in uh, RTM structures ready to move homes or we're doing uh, large rake walls in wood frame construction that are 25 feet tall, we've seen that these walls are stronger with the foam added to them than they are without. And if you're going to get that much live load deflection due to air pressure, imagine what it's going to be like for air leakage inside a wall assembly. If you have air pushing a wall to make it move, imagine the amount of force of how, of how much air is going to come into your structure if you didn't have foam. So the foam serves a structural element and an air leakage element, and that is exactly why it is the prime choice for any building, wood frame construction being made in an acreage, a open prairie situation, a mountain situation, or hilltop situation, anywhere where wind is going to be getting at it a lot, foam is the way to go. If you have not yet subscribed, do so please, because I'm giving you monthly updates on information containing in the spray foam world and trying to keep this show and channel relevant so that you can learn. Enjoy.